Hey guys, today we're tying the party probe. It's a fly that I created recently that's been killing it on the water this winter. We're tying this on a size 14 curve shank hook. Uh, typically this would be used for like scuds or caddis or something or mergers. And we're using orange thread. This is 136 denier. We've got a 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead on there. It's a heavy bead and it helps get this fly down in the water really quickly. Once we've made our beginning thread wraps, I'm gonna pull about six to seven barbs from a soft tackle. This is a hen done soft tackle. You could use really any hackle that you want. It doesn't need to be soft, uh, whatever color you like. I want the length of it to be about the width of the hook gap. And I'm gonna wrap down into about the middle of the bend. As I wrap back up, I'm gonna to try to create a nice even taper for the body and then clean up any missed areas on my way back down towards the tail. Now we're tying in our body. This is gonna be purple holographic tinsel and this is really what makes this fly shine. I'm gonna tie it in right in front of the tail and after I've tied this in to help make the wrapping easier and to add a lot of durability to this fly. I'm gonna coat the back of the body with head cement. You could use Zappy Gap or any super glue of your choice. I'm just using a semi-gloss head cement and a light bead is all you need. I'll start right behind the bead head and work my way back towards the tail with it using my bodkin. And that's good. And this stuff dries pretty fast, or at least it gets tacky quickly. But that's actually going to help us wrap this so it's not sliding all over the place. Uh, tinsel can kind of be a pain in the butt when you're trying to wrap it, especially on a curved shank hook like this. It wants to slide off the butt end onto the tail. And that head cement really helps keep those beginning wraps in place. And we're gonna take the wraps all the way up to the bead head and tie it off. couple wraps in front of it. That'll help build up that hot spot. And now I'm going to take two pieces of peacock curl to build our thorax up. And I'm gonna wrap this peacock curl back about an eighth of an inch and wrap that towards the front to build our thorax. I probably should have used a full length piece here. I think I was just using scraps. and it broke on me. No big deal. Happens all the time with Peacock Earl. Pretty fragile stuff. All right, once I've got that secured, I'm just gonna build up a little hot spot right behind the bead and throw in a couple of whip finishes. If you're only using one whip finish, I would definitely use head cement on this fly, or you can but finish multiple times and then you probably won't need the head cement. And we've got a nice little hot spot. So 
So this fly I use primarily with naked nymphing, getting down in the water column. It's great at tractor pattern, or you could fish it alone. I've been fishing alone with a lot of success lately, so let's see how it fishes. All right, out here on the Arkansas, this is the beginning of February, and I'm fishing along the seam of an eddy right here. I had seen a pretty decent sized trout holding here earlier, and there's the hookup. Oh yeah. Right. It's like a healthy fish. I was naked nymphing here, so no indicator. Got about an eight and a half foot leader on. And we've got a healthy little brown. Nice. Let's get him over here in the sun. So as you can see guys, fish aren't only keyed in on size 22 and 24 midges during the winter. This is on a size 14, the bead head. It's all about all right. getting that good presentation, a good drift, and putting it in front of the Healthy, fish. Uh, so I hope you guys liked it. Um, go ahead and click like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more tying and fishing videos.